Effectively managing your use of any type of soil amendment that includes animal manure makes a big difference for passing a USDA GAPS audit. Your management approach depends on whether you use raw or composted manure. If you apply both raw and composted manure, you should manage the field and the amendments under the raw manure application rules. Pathogens of concern when using manure-based soil amendments are salmonella and pathogenic strains of E. coli. When using raw or composted manure fertilizer, it is important to use best management practices to reduce contamination. These practices include proper storage to prevent introduction of pathogens, thorough incorporation of the material into the soil, maximizing the time between application of the material and the harvest of produce crops, following proper composting practices, and keeping records of the application of the material. For gap audit purposes, your management approach depends on whether you use raw or composted manure. If you apply both raw and composted manure, for audit purposes you should manage the field and the amendments under the raw manure application rules. When applying raw manure, the manure should be incorporated into the soil at least two weeks prior to planting, or a minimum of 120 days prior to harvest. In other words, manure should not be applied to fields where crops will be harvested within the next 120 days. Your records of raw manure application should include the dates of application and the planting and harvesting of crops grown in that crop production area. When applying composted manure, make sure it was composted properly to reduce the level of pathogens. Maintain records of your composting methods, including time charts for passive composting methods and time and temperature charts for active methods. If the compost is purchased from off the farm, make sure you receive and keep in your food safety manual the analysis report documenting the compost's treatment process and the levels of heavy metals, fecal coliforms, salmonella, and E. coli. To reduce pathogens, passive composting methods rely on natural temperature, moisture fluctuations, ultraviolet radiation from the sun, and time. This process will vary based on seasonal and regional factors such as temperature and rainfall as well as the type and source of the manure. You will need to maintain records showing how long the material has been aged. If you are using passive manure composting and allowing at least 120 days between application of that compost to the field and the harvest of any product, it may be easier for documentation purposes for you to treat that compost as raw manure.